This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 gained 2.5% to register its best week since June, while the Dow rose 1.4% and the NASDAQ led the way up 3.3% for the week, its best performance since July. The stock market proved resilient, rallying despite the Federal Reserve Chairman's hawkish speech the previous week in Jackson Hole. Several tailwinds have helped. The JOLTS report on Tuesday showed job openings declined by 338,000, with the quits rate back down at its 2019 average. The unemployment rate ticked higher to 3.8% in August, reaching its highest level in more than a year, even as August payrolls grew at a faster than expected pace, with 187,000 jobs being added. However, job numbers first reported for June and July were revised down by a combined 110,000. In another sign of slowing economy and easing pricing pressures, average hourly earnings increased 4.3% on a year-over-year basis that was less than the 4.4% increase expected. Now, these reports suggest the labor market is rebalancing, upping the odds that the Fed is done tightening. Futures traders are pricing in a 93% chance that the Fed will pause and not raise interest rates at its next meeting later this month. Now, there's an old saying that economic expansions don't die of old age. They're murdered by the Federal Reserve. If that's the case, then the U.S. economy is outrunning its would-be assailant. Stocks have rallied this year, buoyed by the prospect that cooling inflation allows growth to slow without requiring a recession, what we call a soft landing. The S&P 500 declined 27% in the first nine months of last year in 2022, but have since recovered. It's now up more than 18% year to date and closed Friday just 6% below its all time record high. Now, during that pullback in 2022, industry analysts were cutting their earnings estimates, but now they've been raising those same estimates for the final two quarters of 2023, as well as all the four quarters of 2024 and even 2025. There's obviously no recession apparent in the analyst consensus earnings forecast. Now, the August jobs reports were in line with other recent U.S. data. Inflation continues to cool while the economy continues to grow, but at a slower rate. Not too hot, not too cool, but just fine for stocks, especially with sentiment still pretty skeptical. As famous investor Sir John Templeton so famously said, bull markets are born on pessimism. They grow on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. With the perma bears and the pessimists not only not admitting they got it wrong, they are actually doubling down on their skepticism. I have to believe this baby bull has plenty of room to grow. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 75 years experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation of your portfolio, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 6692. How about just give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management, wishing all of you and your families a happy Labor Day weekend.